So I've been watching the exhibition matches for Guilty Gear Strive uh, at Jaipo, I think that's how you say it, 2020. And those matches were, they were great, they were fantastic. There's a lot of good things that happened uh, in those uh, those matches. And there's already been a lot of talk around that. A lot of people having different opinions about it. Um, and I wanted to talk about that because there's an article that came up recently. Uh, I found it on Novril Tataki's uh, community uh, thing on YouTube. Where he posted, they posted that. Uh, in there and it's an art it's a it's a really good and interesting article i think we can trust this because there's been also other articles comparing this thing so basically it, they had a discussion they had a long discussion an hour long discussion after having the exhibition matches which was a very it was really long but they were always they are all talking about different things about strive how they can make it better basically our system taking uh, the feedback for, from very very advanced players not just advanced players some of them are apparently some of the top players in all times of guilty gear so i think we can this this is going to be a very interesting thing interesting feedback for feedback for our system uh so we can hope for the best only <laughs> to be honest but let's see what this is about all right so so here we are we got this thing um so it's not so long you see they're talking about they're talking about a lot of different things like the balance the jump air dashes defense ui okizemi difficulty and things like that things that people constantly talk about when talk about strive and a lot of people have a lot of mixed opinions i mean at least the uh you know the guilty gear community they have a lot of mixed opinions about this there's people who have been playing i also want to mention that there's people who have been playing Strive, uh, who went to the de who went to the events and played the demos, uh, whether it's Frosty Fasting or Arc Revo. They have. It seems like those people started with a very negative opinion at first, but some of them came out with more a more positive uh, opinion uh, in the end. So let's talk about this thing. All right. First of all, they're talking about the state of the game. Obviously, how they're designing Strive and uh, taking the feedback on it and the battle director akira uh who is also apparently a former top level gets your player <laughs> kind of ironic to be honest. uh he ended up saying that he wants he refuses to make strive uh a game without great depth the next thing is about the keywords uh, on guilty gear you know what it means for the players what the game means for a lot of players and uh People apparently said a lot of different things like it has it's a game that has a high degree of freedom, opportunities to express themselves, the diversity in the cast. Diversity in the cast is a big thing. Uh, and I, um, it's a bit worrying for Strive because there's been a lot of gaps between uh, character trailers. So we don't really know how many characters the game will have. They said they are going to have trailers prepared for March. And it's a trailers with an S, plural. So maybe more than one character, maybe two character, like they did with Chip and Potemkin. Hopefully that's the case, and we'll be closer to that. We'll have like eight characters, and hopefully it's female characters because currently there's just there's just male characters. Oxygen in general. They said that something that was very uh, important for Gitsuke was mischief. So mischief is kind of a word about something that is like a trick a bit of a sucker punch and uh, something that is just cheap you know and that people don't necessarily see coming like a so like a trick you know and guilty gear they say that they're happy because uh people they, people have already found a couple things about guilty gear strive that are about that mischief and issue and daisuke actually mentioned that some of the mischief has already been showcased in the ex exhibition matches, but there's more under the hood. <laughs> and they said, they said that he said this with a big smirk on his face. So, Daisuke, I feel like a lot of people are kind of disrespecting this man because uh, of how Strive is coming out. But it's important to understand that Daisuke did not 
he he said that before said that he used to completely direct guilty gear like that guilty gear was completely directed by his uh mind and his mindset and only his mindset and his ideas but now for strive he decided to let uh to let go a little bit and to let people decide for the game decide how the game could be and it appears that he's happy with some stuff and he's not too happy with other stuff so that is a really honest dude in my opinion he's very honest with this and i kind of find it sad that people are disrespecting his work like that and his team because he's very honest in my opinion i think he's very open when he says that okay things some of these things okay some of that is not okay uh, okay so next thing the balance uh fab who was i believe the potemkin player i uh, was talking about that and potemkin in the exhibition matches i would say is the only character that didn't shine that much it's the only character that didn't shine that much even though he was kind of at the finals of the, <laughs> the little tournament they had I feel like Potemkin, ever since Strive, in fact, ever since Strive have been out, I've been reading Potemkin, he's been kind of a little bit behind compared to the other characters. A lot of people have found different things with a lot of characters, but I feel like Potemkin and maybe Axel have been a bit behind. They, they, doesn't, they don't seem to have a lot of amazing stuff to do in that game, uh, which is kind of sad. Okay, so... Arc System wants the game to lean more towards balance. They want the game to be more balanced. Fair enough. Jumps and anti-air. Huge talk. Huge topic for Strive. A really huge one uh, that a lot of people had talked about. A lot of people have different opinions about this thing. God damn it. Jumps, anti-air, and air dashes. That is... Uh, big topic for strive no no joke about that so and jumps and anti-air they want uh to increase the risk with jumping and risk i believe this is not the uh risk gauge i believe this is just the overall concept of uh being in danger of uh in uh, of the situation in the situation of jumping you know because currently jumping in strive i think is really really strong because you can block anything without uh, faultless defense. But on top of that, uh, it seems like you're always safe when you jump because of the new air dash. And this is something that people have been talking about. And uh, I'm at first with the new air dash, the new way they made the air dash, people have been like, "Oh man, the new air dash is so bad. It's a nerf to the air dash and all that stuff." But it's so not true. The new air dash i was looking at it and it feels like it's super strong like you can land like air attacks from a certain range without even being in danger at all it's it's crazy how it works so the players think that the current air dash is difficult to combat due to its very variety of speeds and angles and that is true you can change that air dash like it's crazy you can change it anytime you want any way you want kind of insane the first thing uh, that in currently is stronger in neutral than the previous air dashes uh, as it was difficult to find good reactive responses against it. For instance, high AD, high air dash, could make a reactive air anti-air whiff when it would have hit the low AD which only comes a short time after uh, afterwards. So basically they're saying that the high, when you go high in the air and do the uh the air dash it's the timing becomes even slower like the timing becomes even harder to react because there's a lot of delay between the moment where the character jumps in the air and when they dash not to mention that if you attack while you are dashing you will fall uh earlier so it kind of fucks it completely messes up the uh the timing of their reactions on against the air dashes so it's a really strong air dash currently and there's more that I want, I'm going to talk about when it comes to the air dashes but currently uh, it's a really really strong new mechanic to Guilty Gear that people will have to get used to I think because I don't think they're going to remove it but we're going to talk about that later the defense 
Fab did not experience IB creating as much threat as before. Obviously, this is also another problem that Thrive currently has, and this is kind of things that I'm not uh, okay with myself. I mean, I'm a new against skill player, but I know what IB is. I insta block. I know how it works. Uh, the fact that it only gives more, uh, how is it called, more tension gauge, that's kind of lame. I mean, insta block is something that is uni it's kind of universal. It's not just in Guilty Gear, it's in a lot of fighting game, and uh, it's just universal that if you block at the right time, you have an advantage in a lot of games. So that is the kind of thing that I think they can just revert back to what it was. It does need to be changed. So yeah. And Daisuke said that he's not happy with the current state of IB himself. And he thinks that it's not fun at all. Fun. Fun is a good uh, word. I like fun. I don't like words like difficult, uh, depth and all that shit. That's kind of, uh, that's the technical talk that people talk about just because they want to make themselves interesting or something. Fun is a big word. That means a lot of things. And when Daisuke said, uh, says that fun, it's not that something is not fun. You can tell that uh, there's definitely going to be a change about this. And this is a good sign. So yeah. So they are currently experimenting to find new solutions. And that's also a huge thing. Arc System is experimenting a lot. People have been talking about Arc System like they have become like EA or something. Like they have become some sort of scummy company, a scummy developer that does really bad stuff to their game. But they're just experimenting with Strive. They're trying to do new things for players. And uh, that's definitely their, their intentions. It's not that they don't know what they're doing. It's just that they're experimenting and they're trying to see how people react to it. Uh, so there's definitely feedback that is that has been taken from air dashes and stuff like that. I don't think people should be too worried about it. I mean, you can be worried. You have the right to be worried. But, you know, keep giving feedback uh, politely, <laughs> uh, with respect. And uh, I'm pretty sure they will change the, their stuff. So, Okizemi characters. Damn, that is a... Uh, that's also another thing, huh? Okay. So, um... Okizemi, they talk about it. People also have a lot of feelings about Okizemi in the new in the new game. But during the exhibition matches, if you pay attention, there's a lot of situations where you knock down someone and you have time to land something. You know, you have time to set them up for uh, different stuff. That happens a lot in the exhibition matches. So Okizemi is definitely still in the game, but they, they were asked how they would make Okizemi characters in Strive. And I think people talk a lot about Milia when they talk about Okizemi. <laughs> but Arc System didn't say this is anything specific about what character what characters are to come. So they phrased it uh, in a lot of what ifs. <laughs> that's that's pretty funny. But we know it's about Milia and stuff like that. And also uh, Dizzy. So pretty much what they are saying is that there's a lot of characters that have lots of projectiles, but they don't want the projectiles with large animation that cover characters uh, and hiding their mix-up options. Uh, that's a huge thing. To me, something that happens a lot, it's not just about Guilty Gear, it's about a lot of uh, Arc System games actually, whether it's Guilty Gear, Persona 4, which I wanted to play at some point, or even, let's say, uh, Blaze, Blaze Blue. I, f I played all the Blaze Blue games, but I never played them competitively because, man, that game is a, it's so chaotic. I cannot take it. And pr no, the projectiles in those games, they are crazy, man. They, they have to. This is something that I wanted to talk about for, for a long time. I don't like, I've never really been into Arc System games because of this. They've had, they have so many things in their games that happen so fast it's really hard to pay attention to stay focused you lose focus so easily in those games like in let's say freaking i was actually fighting a dz recently damn there's a lot of projectiles man i i'm trying to focus and it's so hard to 
keep up with what's going on on the screen because there's a lot of things happening if you fight Rem Lethal, if you fight Jacko and stuff like that there's, there's so much thing ha there's so much things happening on the screen it's crazy and it's hard to keep up with uh, what's going on but I don't mind having obnoxious characters obviously there's obnoxious characters in every freaking fighting game but man it's so hard at some point to like keep up not to mention that Guilty Gear is a game with defensive mechanics that are they are there but they are not easy to, to use. They are there but they are not easy to use. But damn, so hard to keep up with stuff. Uh, and I do not want players to be able to use 25% of the meter to put a MIDI projectile. <laughs> uh, that's why RC. <laughs> they don't want that. At the end of the day, Okizemi and stuff like that, Okizemi characters will come out fine. The other character like, uh, how's it called? Faust, who was revealed recently. In this trailer, you can already see a setup. You can see Okizemi a little bit, and it's fine. You know, it's okay. There's no, there's no, it's no, like it's not gone. It's not gone. It's still there, but maybe it's gonna be toned down a little bit. And like I said, I didn't see him using his meteor, so I don't think he's going to have his meteor in the game, uh, because that's kind of that's the kind of thing that they might not want to see in the in Guilty Gear Strive. But then again, the battle director doesn't want to make a Guilty Gear Strive without depth, you know. Having a billion projectiles is probably not what they think uh, is depth, you know. But, you know, players, they think differently. Alright, difficulty. That's another thing that people have been talking about. <laughs> Man, this is the best part. People are saying that Guilty Gear Strive is a game that looks easy as hell to play and stuff like that. And uh, there's people who, like I say, who have been playing the demos. They said that the game is it's okay. That it's an okay. It's okay. It's an okay game. It's just that it's very different and it's going to require a lot of adjustment. But there's also some people who said that the game requires like. A lot of momentum it has a lot of momentum and it has a more strict timing it requires more strict timing on in the in the combos and in the execution and because of that it's kind of a difficult play it's kind of a difficult game to play also because of the the uh, new gatling system that is a bit more restrictive there's it's it makes the game harder to play actually and this is something that summit the chip player of samito uh, explained he said that uh, Guilty Gear, uh, like a lot of current fighting games are going more towards easier, the easier design, the simplify, the simplification and all that stuff with auto combos, easily understandable, and uh, with Gatling and stuff like that. But he says that Guilty Gear Strive is a very difficult game to play with its limited Gatlings and tons of situational decision making. People have been saying that it's a game that lacks death, it's going to be repetitive, and after a week it's gonna die and stuff like that. Tons of situational decision making is something that uh, is actually a good thing, but it can be very difficult to, you know, see to understand every situation in the game. It means that there's a lot of situation that will happen, and you not you don't always have the answer to those situations. Now, limited Gatling is a bad thing, and this is something that I, I was also kind of against. Uh, I'm against that because I thought the Gatling system in all of the Arc System games has always been pretty simple. It, ha it has always made the game easy to play. And I've recently, well, not recently, in December, I downloaded Street Fighter V, I started playing the game. And I was like, man, this is so difficult to play because there's uh, only a few combo paths. There's only a few things that you can do uh, with the characters, or very, sp or not. There's not necessarily a few, but very specific things that you can do with the characters. So it, be it becomes difficult to have freedom when you are experiencing combos, and it makes the game pretty difficult in general. Whereas in a game like Tekken, you can find a lot of different things. I play Yoshimitsu, I found a lot of different things that I can do. 
and when I even watch some videos of top players, Yoshimitsu, they do a lot of different things that I don't even do. So there's way more for me to discover with Yoshimitsu, and I'm happy with that. Uh, so I think the Gatlings should definitely come back to go back to what they were. Um, yeah, it's kind of a weird change in my opinion. Anyways, so he also asked asked them what they are actually. Uh, who they are actually trying to target with this game since it's very difficult to play and that you know even though some of the stuff in Gizigar is trying to be simplified and all that stuff he kind of subtly says that uh, all games end up having depth you know that even if they are simplified they end up having depth but the question is really who are they trying to target with this and our system so they responded they said that they want new players to come into to come into the gg scene um this is something that has already been is already happening with guilty gear because when i started playing guilty gear obviously i started playing because of strife in november and um in my to my surprise i was like man i'm going i'm going to get run over by all the Gear players currently because most likely they are only people who they are the, the people who are playing Guilty Gear right now the people who have been playing it for a long time they are in love with the game they know a lot of things about it and to my surprise no to my surprise no there's a lot of new players as well so it's not the Guilty Gear Strive is bringing new people new players into the overall Guilty Gear scene it's not just for Strive there's also players who are coming for uh, Exer. They're p gonna play Exer because Exer is also a game that looks freaking awesome. Like, it's crazy how Exer looks. So, people are going to play that game as well. And it's kind of stupid because people are already are constantly being like, oh, Strive is such a bad game. It should go away. They should cancel the game. Blah, 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 and all that stuff. A lot of bad <laughs> trash talk out Strive. It's kind of sad if people see that kind of comments all the time and they want to play Guilty Gear a bit, you know, they want to play Guilty Gear Strive and maybe they will start playing by, they will start by Exert, but it kind, of, it kind of prevents them from falling in love with the game and the community if people are constantly shitting on Strive like that, you know. Not that you, they don't have, people don't have the right to complain about Strive, but damn, dude, people want to have fun with the game, you know. Anyways. Arxism is working hard to find a good balance in its difficulty so that it's established players, uh, established fighting game players, GG players, and totally new players will pick up the Guilty Gear Strive and enjoy it. People are like, oh man, new players out. This is not, it's not a bad thing that they are trying to target new players. It's not a bad thing that they are trying to target other fighting game players. It's actually very good because it's a type of design that uh, allows the game to be good, fun for everyone, for everyone, but also for older players, it prevents them from dealing with uh, old bullshit that used to exist in uh, some of the games that they've been playing before. So it's the type of thing that helps like game developers to find the line, the perfect line for the games. And it's not just for fighting games, once again, it happens with a lot of other games like Monster Hunter, which is a case of a, of a lot of elitism actually, In it has a lot of elitism in its community, which is funny enough because it's just a PvE game, you wouldn't expect that game to have a lot of elitism, but people are like, oh man, Monster Hunter World is such a dumbed down game. It's not it's not good for hardcore players anymore. Blah blah blah. But and it's such a fun game for everyone. Like why would you why would you want that to be a a, a bullshit game again? You know. So it, it's important for games to find the line, but it's also important for them to not completely to be completely fucked up. You know, and being I mean like boring and uninteresting like some other games. But overall, if we have to understand where where Arxism is trying to go with these uh, these changes, when you read about air dashes, defense, and all that stuff, 
uh, there's a lot of things that you can understand and you can understand where they're trying to go. They said before that they want this to get strive to be a completely new experience for everyone, even for older players. They want this get strive to be very, very new. And you can see that in the exhibition matches, they drop a lot of combos. A lot of combos are miss are dropping, they whiff a lot of moves because they don't know exactly how things work. You know, they're not always sure on how things work. But with a uh, player like Samito, who's when who was playing cheap and he was doing crazy stuff, and at some point he made the, the famous you know the wall run combo and at the end of it you can see him and the soul player they were both really they were both smiling they were both like surprised uh, by the uh, the combo so it was kind of cool it was a cool moment but it's it's a new it's kind of a new thing for them to experience and that's what artism is trying to do and that's why i think they're not going to change the air dash the air dash is not going to change uh but they said they want the risk to be higher when people are in the air as well so anti-air the whole situation of defense and the whole situation of blocking in the air and being safe in the air and all stuff they probably want they, they might change some stuff maybe anti-air moves will be unblockable again like uppercuts and stuff like that maybe they will be unblockable again without the uh uh, faultless defense so that might be a thing insta block might come back as well uh because currently it's kind of a it's kind of a weird mechanic the way it works it's kind of really not too good uh so there is a chance that they are going to change uh, some of the things that are in the air because people are constantly talking about that thing as well the fact that you can just block in the air you can instant block pretty much from the first room where you leave the ground stuff like that people talk about that uh and it's a type of thing that can definitely change the new area is not going to change because it's along the line of everything they want from stripe it's new it uh it's not something that people are used to it creates new situations that's the kind of thing that they're going to keep and i think it's really tragic when i was looking at the exhibition matches and you look at the chat damn it's so it's a tragedy how People have to constantly trash the game. They're not even paying attention to what is on the screen. They call the game boring while it was actually very entertaining. Yes, it's not a finished game. It's not done yet. They are going to change it and they are changing it. But the fact that people are so skeptical and so uh, negative about everything is making the game look really bad for new players. It's, making, it's, pr it's pretty much making hurting the, the entire using your community because people are constantly saying that oh it's like street fighter 5 it's slow it's boring it has no depth no execution it's even worse than street fighter 5 uh it's like a it's they are trying to transform guilty into sam show and all that stuff smash players omega lol all that stuff it's like come on man yeah you guys have to really uh put down all the games to make exert or uh, accent call whatever it is look better really is that how it works like how are people supposed to think about uh, what are people supposed to think about guilty gear exactly <laughs> i mean it's kind of disrespectful to be honest how the uh, community is acting right now it's kind of childish as well like, you can give feedback you can you can be mad at the game and be like man this is so bad and all that stuff like currently the wall break i'm not happy with the wall break i think it's kind of awkward the fact that you can break the wall with just a, a punch the fact that it returns to neutral i don't i'm not after watching the game a lot, I feel like the return to neutral is not that bad. It's just that the fact that it just breaks the wall with a punch and the wall break doesn't deal damage, it's kind of weird to me. I would prefer it if, for example, the wall break would be like you punch, you, you have to use like a, a special move, but not any type of special move. You know a move like Fafni or the Dolphin by me? Those moves will cause the other player to roll on the ground it's how it has like a hard pushback it's the type of move that i think should cause the wall break not just any special move not just like an uppercut not just like a a, 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 a gun flame or anything no but fafni specifically will cause the wall break at the f on the first time you use fafni the first usage of fafni will cause a wall break not 
after using three Fafnirs, but the first time you do, you do, you do it to a wall splat enemy. So if you wall splat someone and you do Fafnir, bam, wall break, and it deals damage, and you get it deals a tiny bit of damage, not a whole lot of damage. The wall break should cause a tiny bit of damage, like a, li a little extra, and then gives you uh, the meter boost. Like if you only cause wall break with Fafnir, for example, you still have a lot of ways to have wall pressure, corner pressure. You have a lot of ways to still have. Uh, freedom in the combos that Guild Gear Strive has currently because cur currently Guild Gear Strive is really free in terms of corner combos like it's, it's open but the fact that you like you can do like three Fafnir and cause a wall break with big damage it's kind of lame you know that's the kind of things that I feel like can change a lot so yeah using Fafnir once breaking the wall that's good uh, and using other moves but you knock down the player after a certain time when they are well splatted i think that's good as well but overall yeah i think uh, getting your strive is a game that looks fantastic and it seems to be to play fantastic as well people are like oh man it's so boring but daisuke also said that he wanted the game to change its style he wanted the game to change its or oh, its, its its entire style and gitty has been an anime fighter for a while it has been like any other it has been like it's it's been following the same style as any other anime fighters and now they are changing it to be more 3d to use more camera work to use more uh a little more stuff you know into it and they're over the overall change of the gatlings and all that stuff it seems like they are trying to make it more like something like the king of fighters street fighter sam show things that are not anime fighters with big combos and all that stuff and then again people talk about combos but when you look at a gear secret tournament there's not a lot of long combos like combos would do like they would go from seven hits to 12 hits sometimes 15 and then again in this game you can also see chip landed 19 hits 17 hits so what do you want <laughs> you know but overall it's, it's okay so i feel like it's going to be you know, a good game and there's no need to be so to have so much animosity towards it it's kind of dumb in my opinion and it's kind of hurtful for both uh get to get strive and get to get exert and also the older get to get as well it's it's, it's 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 hurtful for everyone anyways that's it for this video so i'm out